Okay, I see Thai. Okay, we're going to start and you can you and can just join. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do IELTS 13, phase two, speaking part, one, uh, two and three, okay? So let's go down here. Okay, so it says here, describe a time when you started using a new technology device, a new computer or a phone. Describe a time when you started using a new technology device. You should say what device you started using, why you started using the device, how easy or difficult it was to use it, and explain how helpful this device was to you. Okay. Now, the things we will say here is what? Who? So these are words to help you to say things. How and why? Okay, I'll just take it a little bit down so that we can write here underneath it. Okay, so this is how you're going to start your talk. Um, I would like to talk about a technology device or a device um, that I have learned or that I have learned using or that I have started using, which is, so let's type it here. And I will help you with that. Okay. Let's go up. Um, I would like to talk about a device which I have started use, using which is, and then you're going to say the device. Okay. Now, under the what, the what is the name of the, here is the name uh, of the device. It's what device is it a TV? Is it a computer? Is it a phone? Is it a video camera? Is it a recorder? Name of the device. It's what it is. What device is it? Then who, who taught you, who taught you to use it? Who taught you or showed you to use it? Your dad, your mom, your friends, your teacher. When did you learn it? So when did you, were you in uh, pre-primary? Were you in middle school, high school, 16, 10, five? When did you learn to use the device? When did you learn to use the device? Where? Where did you learn? At school, at home, at your friend's house? Uh, where did you learn to use it? And how do you feel about the device? Do you feel that the device it enriches your life more? Does it make it more difficult? Is it a, a schlep to use it? How do you feel? How did you feel when you learned when using the device? And how is the device changing your life now? So how do you feel about the device? Using it and um, using it. Um, how you feel about the device using it? Does it make your life e any easier or better? And why? Why did you learn to use the device? Did you learn to use the device? So these are things that's going to help you. Um, these are things that's going to help you speak, okay? Okay, so, um, Thai, what device did you, or do you wanna talk about? Okay, Thai, what device are you going to talk about? 
I want to talk about a phone. A phone, okay. So the name of the device is the phone, good. And who taught you to use the device? Is my dad. And when did you learn to use the device? When did you learn to use the device? I learned this is on Sunday. No, when did you learn? Is when you were in the 10th grade or in the 5th grade? When did you learn it? Um, on 5th grade. On the 5th grade, okay. And where did you learn to use this? I learned this is as at home. At home, and why? Why did you learn to use this? Because I learned this is to study. Okay. What about you, Sao? Tell me about yours. Um, I'm using tap the uh, tap lens because I want a um, big screen to study and um, um, my mom will bought me this tablet when I was four grade and my uncle taught me how to use it and um, the device, this tablet also helped me a lot in study. For example, I can uh, join the online class and I could note something that I want to remember. And I learned to use this device because I want to study better in both English and technology. Okay, so now we have to say a little bit more, okay? We can't just say, we can't just go, say one sentence for each, what, who, when, where, how, and why, okay? It's not just one sentence each. We have to say a little bit more, okay? Um, okay, now, Thai, I want you to put it into sentences for me. Put this into sentences and see if you can speak for a little longer. Okay, that one there. Okay, Thai, you need to start, sweetie. Put it into sentences for me. The name of device I would talk about is a phone. Okay, here. I would like to talk about a device. Here. I would like. I would like to talk about a device which I have that is using, which is a phone. My dad tells I to use it because I need to use it to learn. And I use it when I first grade and I do this as I learned to do this at home. Okay. I learned to use a device because I need to study on the phone. Okay, so let's start with the beginning. Let me give you a, here. So you can say, um, I would like to talk about a device which I have started using when I was in the fifth grade, which is the new, you can say, 
uh, iPhone, or let's just say, let's say iPhone. You can say any phone or computer. It was a basic model, not like the kind we buy nowadays. So say, say a little bit about the device. Don't just say, I started learning on a tablet or on a computer or on a phone. Say what kind it was. What it, tell us a little bit about the device. It was a new one. It was an older one. Um, which is the new iPhone or which was, let's say. Um, I would like to talk about a device which I've started using when I was in, which was the iPhone. It was, it was a basic model, not like the kind we buy nowadays, okay? The new phone um, only consisted of a nice screen, um, some keyboard features. Oh, let's talk about, um, Thai, are you studying on a computer or on a um, tablet? Thai? I study on a computer. Okay, let's talk about the computer or a tablet then. Here, we don't say a phone. Which was a computer. It was a basic model, not like the kinds we buy nowadays. The new computer, so let's say computer or tablet, only consisted of a nice screen, a mouse and a keyboard. Okay. Now you say here, I didn't know how to use it, but I had to learn quickly because I had to do my homework and present it in format to my teacher. I had to learn quickly because I had to do my homework and present it. Let me just try homework here. Okay, and present it. Uh, it wasn't that easy for me. I was used to using pencil and to using a pencil and paper. However, my dad didn't know how to use it either. And my older sibling or cousin or whoever, um, And my older sibling. Now you can say, or you can say your father. So who taught you to use it? Um, my uncle. Okay, so you can say, uh, I was used to using a pencil and paper. Even my dad didn't know how to use it either. And my uncle, let's say uncle, uh, was kind enough to help me or teach me, let's say teach me. Okay, then you can say, um, I remember, uh, furthermore, I remember, um, how difficult it was for me to master the direction of the mouse and the pointer because when I moved the mouse, the pointer would shoot 
to one end of the screen and disappear. So you have to say a little bit about your experience. You can't just say, um, just go, go down here and say one sentence each, okay? You have to say a little bit about your, uh, your experience with it. Um, now you can say some more. You can say, then I would move it again and the point. So you can talk about the pointer. Um, let's say here. Computers were a whole new thing for me and my family. My father chose to continue using his typewriter because he never um, managed to control the mouse. Um, they're not in addition, let's say, it's a, um, another, another obstacle was learning how to create folders for all my subjects. I did not know how to recover deleted file or the written lines that suddenly disappeared due to some key that I pressed. Disappeared, sorry. Here, disappeared. Okay. Not to mention the famous presentations that we were later requested but uh, we requested for school exhibitions. Uh, exhibitions. When it was all new to me, it was quite a challenge that I had to overcome due to meet all the requirements. Today, you wouldn't know what to do without a computer. I did all my, uh, all my, I do all my homework tasks and projects um, assignments thanks to a laptop that I exclusive use for my schoolwork. Okay, then you can say in, con in conclusion, um, the computer is one of the most useful objects for almost all types of ac 
connectivity and with an internet connection the world is at your fingertips it is definitely a must have item today uh, definitely okay so you're just saying a little bit more about what what they've asked from you they've asked for example what was the what was it what was the device i would like to talk about a device which i have started using when i was in the fifth grade or when i was 10 years old which was a computer so now you're saying the name of the device but say a little bit more it was a basic model not like the kinds we buy nowadays the new computer only consisted of a screen a mouse and a keyboard I didn't know how to use it, but I had to learn quickly because I had to do my homework and present it in printed format to my teacher. It wasn't that easy for me. I was used to using a pencil and paper. However, my dad didn't know how to use it either. And my uncle, let's change this one. Let's say here, um, let's say here and paper, and my dad didn't know how to use it either. However, my uncle was kind enough to teach. Now you said who taught you in that paragraph and you said what it was. Furthermore, and you said when, when you were in the fifth grade. Furthermore, I remembered how difficult it was for me to master the direction of the mouse and the pointer, because when I moved the mouse, the pointer would shoot to one end of the screen and disappear. Computers were a whole new thing for me and my family. My father chose to continue using his typewriter because he never managed to control the mouse. Another obstacle was learning how to create folders for all my subjects. I did not ha know how to recover a deleted file or the written lines that suddenly disappeared due to some key that I pressed not to mention the famous presentations that we were later requested for school exhibitions. When it was all new to me, it was quite a challenge that I had to overcome due to meet all the requirements. Okay, now how and why? Now why you say because your school requested printed documents. Today, you wouldn't know what to do without a computer. That's your how. I do all my work tasks and projects assignments thanks to a laptop that I exclusively use for my schoolwork. In conclusion, the computer is one of the most useful objects for almost all types of activity. And with an internet connection, the world is at your fingertips. It is definitely a must have item today. So this is your how. So I'm gonna type it for you. Just like that, and we'll put it in bold. And we'll put it like that. Okay, so this will be your how. This is your, not your how. Uh, how do you feel about it? It will be this. In conclusion, and so that will be your how. Why did you learn to use it? Because you said here. Um, Okay, I did not know how to recover deleted files. I had to learn it quickly because I had to do my homework. So that part there is your why. And here is also a why. There is a why piece. And here I learned too quickly. That's also a why piece there. You had to learn quickly for school. That's also why. Um, what it is, this is your part here, it's the computer, who taught you, was, it was your uncle who taught you, because your father didn't. Um, when did you, there's your when in the fifth grade, it's your when, and your uncle taught you, so it's at home, and the, this is the reason, how easy or difficult it was, so this is also your how. This is your how easy or difficult part. Here you tell us about it a little bit more. Easy or difficult. So here you tell us a little bit more about it. 
Okay, so now I want you to use this example and make it your own. Okay, so I would like to talk about a computer. You say when, then you say, there's your what, your who, your when, your where, your how, and your why. But remember to always also put this part in. This part says, explain how easy or difficult it was and explain how helpful the device was to you. There is it at the end because you had to use it for all your projects and assignments. Um, how easy, so this is your how and easy. Furthermore, remember how difficult it was for me to master the direction of the mouse and the pointer because when I moved the mouse, so there you say how difficult it was. Another obstacle, obstacle means it's difficult. Another obstacle was the uh, lines and the files that you are talking about. Okay, so Thao, let's see if you can, if you can start. Um, try and make it your own. Um, I could like to talk about a device which I have started using when I was in the third grade. Uh, and it was a tablet. It was a basic and simple model, not unlike at the kind we buy now today. And um, the tablet has a very nice screens as well as it also come with a beautiful covers that I can also stick some cute sticker on it. And at the first time I didn't know how to use it, but I have to learn quickly because I think I would do most of my work, uh, study and homework on it. And, uh, but, Unfortunately, my mom and dad didn't know how to use it, but uh, lucky for me, my uncle is kind enough to teach uh, kind enough to teach me. Furthermore, I remember how difficult it was for me to uh, cre create folders on the tablet to save my homework, and I can the uh, um, save my homework and how I can type letter to make my uh, to make the easy but I was really surprised when I could learn it really fast uh, and it was really new to me and also uh, it's really hard to save the folders and Take the pictures that I draw on the app, and I think it was, was a Herculean challenge for me. Uh, today, uh, in the pandemic, you couldn't know what to do without a, a tablet or computer or phone, and I often do all my homework tasks or study on my tablet that it was very helpful and have a lot of apps that I can use to help me study better. And in conclusion, the tablet is one of the most useful object, uh, objects for most of type of activities like study and entertainment. Good, that's much better than the first time that you spoke to me. The first time you only said like one sentence for each. Now you elaborating, now you explaining and telling us more. Okay, try. try. I was glad to talk about a device which I have started to sing when I was in five, was in fifth grade. Device, With, let's say the word again, device. Device. No, not device, device. Device. There we go. Okay, which was? Which, which was a computer. It was a basic model, not like the kinds we buy nowadays. The new computer only consists of a nice screen, a mouse, and a keyboard. I didn't know how to do it. But I have to learn quickly because I have to do my homework from my teacher. And it wasn't 
that's easy for me. I was just this to using a pen and paper, and my dad didn't know. My dad didn't know how to do it. However, my mom was kind to teach me. Furthermore, I remember how difficult it was for me. For me to master the direction of the mouth and the pointer. Because when I moved the mouth, the pointer was was source to one end of the screen and disappear. Computer were a uh, new thing for me and my family. Another of side was obstacle or another difficult feature. Obstacle. Learning of sequels. Another of sequels was learning how to create folders for all of my subjects. I did not know how to recall a, a delete file or the written line that suddenly disappeared due some to some key that I pressed. When it was all new to me. This was quite a challenge that I had to overcome to meet all the requirements. In conclusion, the computer is one of the most useful objects for almost uh, twice of activity and with an internet connection, the world at, is at your fingertip. Okay, but now I want you to um to make it your own because you're not going to be able to remember mine. Okay, so I want you to to learn and to make it your own. Right, you take mine, use mine but make it your own little things that you struggled with or that you couldn't do or who taught you and when. Use other words. You can use my words, but this is just a guideline to help you because you will never remember mine, okay? So I want you to try and remember and do your own, okay? Okay, let's, let's try again. Um, Thao, you can tell me now. Uh, I would like to talk about the device which I have started using when I was uh, in the third grade. It is a tablet. My mom bought it for me because I have to do my homework and tasks from my teachers on the, uh, on the internet. And at the first time, I didn't know how to use it. Unfortunately, my mom and dad I uh, didn't know it, um, didn't know either, uh, but lucky for me, my uncle was kind enough to teach me. And it was really difficult for me because I remember that I took a lot of time to learn how to create folders on the tablet to save my homework tasks or make the easy. Also, um, it was hard for me to type the letters to make the uh, to make the passes and paragraph. And uh, uh, and other um, 
and other things that I found really hard is um, how I in install app and uh, how I install app and start using it. At the first time,